Alright, today we're back in the House of Tropics for the second time, building a new and probably one of my most detailed enclosures ever for the Asian small clawed otters. Alright, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the House of Tropics, second episode. So today we are building an Asian small clawed otter enclosure, and this is one of my favorite enclosures I've ever built on the channel so far. Or at least, like, recently, because I had no limits on this one. We went full-on foliage mode everywhere, especially when we get to the outside area, and we will get there. Um, so, if you are new to here, if you is the first video you're seeing, first of all, subscribe, because there's no reason not to. But anyway, what I was going to say, in the last episode of the series, because you're only on episode episode 2. In the last episode, we did the Clouded Leopard Enclosure, and we started with this uh, kind of a mini project, the House of Tropics, your basic tropical house full of tropical animals, just like you would see in a regular zoo, just a huge kind of pavilion, kind of enclosed, enclosed area. Uh, yeah, so let's, let's talk about the actual build here. So this took so much longer than the Clouded Leopard Enclosure, and even longer than it actually took for me to build the house. The house itself, I had a reference, because this was originally going to be the Aquatic Bird's House from the Bronx Zoo, but I changed it to just some modifications and stuff like that. But overall, I did have a reference, which made it a lot easier to build. With this one, I, I kind of experimented a bit, and that's honestly partly why this video is a week late, because I spent so much time kind of experimenting with stuff. Like, if you look at the outdoor area for the otters, which we will get to a little bit later, and you did see probably in the beginning intro of that little overpass kind of place with the windows and the glass. Before that, that used to be all like tropical rainforest kind of like lush overhang kind of um, overpath or like pathway, if that makes sense. It used to be like not concrete or anything like that. It just used to be rocks and foliage and it kind of felt like i wanted to give like the vibe of you like going through the jungle but then i, I spent like two hours on that like two or three hours on um, the night before and the next night that i went over it was just like eh it, it's just it, it wasn't it i just didn't really like it i looked at it differently and it didn't really fit with the, the setting and i'm i am glad i, did. I made these changes because there are a couple other ones that i did change after a bit like changing the windows and the indoor section i did i didn't um include me redoing them in the speed build but they were like i did have to experiment with a couple designs for them and i am glad that i did i redid a few of these things because i think they they honestly just make the build look better and i'd rather it look like like this than I did um, before. So move. Well, we've talked about otters. We've talked about the build. We've talked about the immense amount of suffering hours I've pain I've put in to build this. <laughs> um, but let's talk about something different that probably a lot of people are very excited for is the next DLC coming to Planet Zoo. So we have waited for four months now. Normally, in a spring pack, we would have gotten something by now. I think like most of the packs in spring come in like April third or April, just the beginning of April, maybe even the end of March. But we here we are at the middle of April, and this is interesting because. We have never been in this situation before. We had to wait this long for a DLC. Uh, but obviously that is because of the console release. And I've seen a few people um, on the forums or just in general thinking that there is no more DLC. I can confirm just quickly that there is going to be at least one DLC. We have it from the report they released at the beginning of the year. Plus on the Frontier Unlock stream that they did like in somewhere in like February or January, I think. They mentioned that there is stuff coming for PC. And they said, and I quote, we we think that you'll be happy with us so i'm we're hoping that's true i'm hoping that, that this is this is the final pack if it's a final pack or if it's just the next pack that it will be pretty interesting it will be pretty good um i'm really hoping it has like a baboon or something that i really want but yeah we are now getting into what actually people are starting to speculate is the time for announcement and i'm starting to think that we are getting into the weeks that we could start to see an announcement because we know that the the pack has to come before the end of may which is when frontiers reports uh frontiers like year ends my thinking for this is that the steam the steam db file is the, the outsource qla file i think it's called um, is a file that gets updated every like about a few weeks out from announcement. So the Steam file will get updated, and then three weeks later we'll have an announcement. I think this was updated actually I think like a week and a half ago. I'm pretty sure. So we are we could see something like a week and a half more, 
or this could change because obviously the, the, the times are shifting. We've never been have to wait this long. We've also seen that games update their LQA. I think out, like Jurassic World Evolution updates their LQA a lot closer to their DLC releases. So it doesn't necessarily have to be three weeks. It, it could be two weeks. It could be five weeks. Anything like that. There's a lot of like wiggle room there. But my thinking is, is that the couple of weeks at the end of May, those last couple of weeks of financial, the financial year for Frontier, I'm pretty sure they would need those to actually bring in the financials from the DLC, because if the DLC releases at the very last minute of May, like the very last day of May, that doesn't give them a lot of time for money to actually roll in from that DLC for them to show the profits in their like next report. So I think it would be logical to have the DLC release a couple, at least a couple weeks out from the end of May. So that brings us to either the, the first couple weeks of May or the last couple weeks of April. So from here until the middle of May, I would assume is when we will get the next DLC. Now I am personally leaning towards the next couple weeks, so we could get an announcement as soon as like tomorrow or like this week. I, I'm just saying in the next few weeks we can start to hopefully see things shift back to PC because obviously in the last month uh, they have been focusing heavily on console port um, and console players. I think it's finally time hopefully now to start getting back into PC players. Overall I, I, I think that the next DLC is going to be coming soon so just keep an eye out for that. So let's move on to something else other than DLC talk, because that is honestly mainly all we talk about here. So let's talk about something else now. Let's talk about what we're actually building. So hopefully by now uh, we're switching over, or at least soon, to the outdoor area for the otters, and this is something I love. The foliage here is crazy, like I mentioned. Um, like 90% of the actual outdoor area is foliage. 10% of it is actually like logs and concrete and stuff like that. Um, and I, I honestly love that because it, it's really lush and it just makes it look really natural. And, I, and that's one of my favorite things to do while I build is just make it look as natural as possible using as many plants as I can. Um, and this is honestly just like this build is a combination of every single plant that I love. And it's really fortunate that most of those plants that I love are tropical themed, which is great. But yeah. So that is definitely something I really like, especially uh, the overhang also, something that is not covered in foliage, I mean, technically. Um, but that overhang that the guests look under um, to see, like, the underwater viewing and stuff with the otters, that's, like, their main viewing from outside. The foliage and also how it blends into that, like, an overhook kind of thing. Um, overall, it's I, I just really enjoy looking at it. It's, it's definitely more pleasing to me than the Cloud of Leopard enclosure. Definitely not anything wrong with the Cloud of Leopard enclosure. I, I also really like that enclosure, but to me this one is, is my personal favorite. And the otters. The otters actually love it. I didn't actually have to do any like like big changes to the enclosure to get the otters to move anywhere. They automatically know where to go, and they actually moved. It was amazing. Also, and then the one other thing that I wanted to mention um, while we're talking about building the outdoor area, is that when you look in the cinematic shots, or maybe you'll see in the speed build quickly, on the roof, uh, I've used some new roof decorations and AC vents, everything like that. Uh, but I wanted to give a shout out to Captain Callum, who made a lot of new blueprints, um, and they were like mega packs for anything like backstage, AC, uh, mainly roof decorations, I think. It's like, you have air ventilation stuff, you have like different aircon pipes and you can see i used a lot of these in the on the roof of this video uh, sorry on the on the roof of the building there's a bunch of different things that you guys can use i promise there's something for you all you realism lovers um so definitely go and check that out i will def i'll link it top link in the description i will link that to the steam workshop to him um and you can see his workshop with all the different packs and stuff there's quite a lot of them and I, I, there was probably something that you will find useful i guarantee you but yeah, that is great. They, I really liked using them personally in my build, and I'm going to start using them more um, as we keep going. Uh, and I, I definitely appreciate it. It's, it's great. And you, don't, I don't, you honestly don't see a lot of like um, people do that. Usually you see like enclosures and like fences and just your generic stuff like that in the workshop. But it's, it's very rare that you see things like this, like backstage and stuff um, in the workshop. Especially something as like refined as like roof parts, like roof AC and stuff like that. So yeah. Really appreciated that, um, and he, I think I believe he also is on YouTube, so I'll go, I'll link him to his YouTube channel also down below, so you can check him out um, if you guys want. So that is all I have to say about building-wise. Um, 
As for next steps of this actual project, for the Tropical, the House of Tropics, we will continue to have more episodes. I don't know how frequent these episodes are going to be. Last week I said that um, this was, there was going to be a week gap, so there's going to be week, like, uh, a week gap between each, each episode. But that turned out to be wrong, and it turned out like this is actually two weeks behind the first episode. So I think that's honestly, I, I would like, as much as I want to do like weekly episodes, I, I don't think that I'm going to have enough time and I'm going to be able to do this quick enough. So I think this is going to have to be like every two weeks kind of thing, which is it's sad. But I'm hoping that these are worth the wait, as these are probably some of my favorite builds we've done so far. And, we're, and our building skills are only getting better, better from here. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see where this takes us next. But I think, honestly, giving me more time to build stuff makes me, like, if I rushed it, I would not have gotten something as good as this. So I do think that taking my time is the way to go, um, especially when we get works out like this, instead of more rushed things that might not be as cool or anything, like, as special. Uh, but yeah, so, what is the next animal? Another question uh, for the the series. What is the next animals that I'm going to be adding to the, the house? I can't disclose that, but I will say that if you guys request animals down below, I will definitely consider them. I didn't do this for this episode because I didn't... I, I looked at the... I promise I looked at all your requests for the last video, like the episode one, and I will include some of those species in the next episodes, I promise. Otters is just something I really wanted to do, and... Um, I had to get the motivation out, so I really wanted to start start strong with something I really enjoyed. But now I'm starting to get into the ones that you guys requested. And I do want to see some of them, especially like some of like the primates and stuff like that. I definitely want to get into that soon. So we will touch on that in the next episodes. I'm not going to say which animal specifically I'm going to be building for next, because that would ruin all the fun out of it, of course. Uh, but I will start to get into um, some of those requests that you guys make. So, overall, um, that is pretty much all I have to say for the time being. Uh, I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of the cinematic, like the, the video. Uh, there is going to be cinematic shots in about five minutes. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, I highly recommend you subscribe. It's free, it doesn't cost a thing. Uh, there's no reason not to. And if you enjoyed my content, then like again please subscribe it, it, it means the world to me we just we hit a thousand subscribers about two weeks ago um and we're only we're gonna keep growing from there hopefully i want to see where else we can get to um in 2024 i do have a couple more videos coming out soon regarding planet zoo um in the next couple weeks if the dlc is announced in the next couple weeks then i will be sure to uh, cover it as soon as possible uh let you guys know what's in it if well probably other people will already do it um, but I'll, I'll, I'll be there um, covering my own review of the pack, my first reaction. I hope you all enjoy, and I will see you all in whatever episode or video that comes out next, which I'm actually not sure what that's going to be. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the rest of the video.